Hello, it's day 18 of Vlogmas. We're still going. This morning we are doing something really cute. I'm excited about this summer, or this fall really. I got a uh, an outdoor movie projector. You can use it inside too. And it was like a really great price. Um, and I felt like it was a good investment for this time period of like really needing something to do um so i'm so glad we got it today we're gonna have a little indoor cozy movie morning it's been a very long month in the in the best way we've been very busy with orders i'm so grateful and we really just need to have a little relaxing time so we're doing that this morning i've made us some little snack trays it's a really chilly day out today so scarlett's got her little jacket on um we are gonna start the day not with a Christmas movie but the Mandalorian um do you guys watch that it's Jim like he loves it so much I love it too but um you know not as much as Jim it's a great show so we're gonna watch that on the big screen I've talked about this Miyoko's cream cheese that's more of like a, a cream spread really and I want to show you my favorite cracker to go with it crunch master multi seed they're like rice crackers the original flavor so nice together and i just did like a little chow cheese and crackers our room has been transformed into a cozy movie den look how big this projector gets so it is not the most elegant setup i put it on a tripod we use these old speakers that i have that are so good they're literally 20 year old speakers and i love them the speaker on here is actually pretty great itself but the picture is fantastic. I mean, it's daytime and it's not terribly dark in here. So it's really easy to put um, Disney Plus and YouTube on here with an Amazon Fire Stick. You know, it's a little, it's a little clunky with the wires, but it's perfect for what we need it for. If you know us, you are not surprised at our avatar selections on Disney Plus. <laughs> you look very cozy and, and worried. <laughs> what is this face? I'm, I'm... Uh, I'm a little worried about what's going to happen in this next episode. The last episode of this season of Mandalorian. <gasps> this is the finale? Yep. Let's do this. Jim was putting Mandalorian on and they were advertising... What is it called? Scenescape Ambience. Ambience. And they have a finding door... Like a Dory Reef. I love Dory. Like the Nemo world. It's like one of my favorite Disney things. I'm so excited. And there's a new Arendelle Castle Yule, Yule log. Just like a... It's really cute. They had one, but now they updated it to be like Frozen 2. Oh my, there was a stack of pillows where Scarlet usually enters the bed. Was that a surprise? I'm sorry. <laughs> the Mandalorian was as good as a movie. That was like the Star Wars movie of the year, basically. I'm blown away. It was fantastic. He cried. I cried. I cried for a couple different reasons. No spoilers and here, though. No spoilers. Um, but watch after the credits. Now we're moving on to one of my favorite holiday movies. I love musicals so much. and I went to school for theater. I was, like, technically a theater major, but all my classes were dance. Um, I basically went for dance education. This is one of my favorite dances ever when Danny Kaye dances with the blonde lady whose name I should know, but I don't. Um, yeah, if you just only watch this scene, so good. I'm checking out the new Yule Log, the Arendelle. It's so cute. Basically, Olaf and Gail run through and it's adorable. We're going to do something very 2020 today. I have been cutting Jim's hair all year long, uh, you know, since March. He gave me one haircut and it went well, um, but you know, guys need haircuts more often. And so I try to cut his hair like once a month or so. He doesn't love it, but I love it when he has his hair cut and I think I do an okay job. You can tell me in the comments later. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to give him a haircut and then he might also give me one because I haven't had a haircut since 
<sighs> I think it's May of 2019. And I have just like really thick hair and it's really hard for me to manage. I also have like some upper body muscular issues from an injury in 2017 with my neck. So washing it and caring for it is really hard. So I really need a haircut. So we'll see what we get to today. Here's what I use in my super unprofessional job. <laughs> a spray bottle, a comb, a scissor that is not intended for cutting hair, I don't think. Or if it is, it's not great at it. And a random like trimmer that is also like not great for this. But I make it work, people. I know salons are open and stuff. I want to go so bad. But it takes me a really long time to get a haircut because my hair is like a lot. If I want to get like layers cut in like I normally do to help me manage it, it takes a while. And I don't want to be inside with someone for that long, you know? Oh, hey, there's this guy. Are you ready for the glamor of a backyard haircut? I don't know if you are. <laughs> All right, here's my before, a cutie. Big reveal, do a little turn. It's not my best work, but it's way better. Oh, I love you. I think we're gonna wait to do my hair because we need to do a little more research. Jim maybe needs to watch another. If we wanna do something besides just like a straight cut. Yeah. Watch, watch some videos. <laughs> On YouTube. That's where I learned how to cut his hair. And to be honest, this is not the best one I've done. The longer it is, the harder it is. But I think it looks good. Yeah, I like it. He's just saying that. He likes it every time, actually. Yeah. I always say, I don't know. I think uh, I messed it up. This is, the... this is the worst one. I say that every time. Every time. And then he's like, it's fine. It's a haircut. So. Yeah. All right. Well. Until next time, have a magical day.